cima di rape con salsicce. Broccoli di rape and sausages. It's got to be one of my favorites. Uh, this is a dish in itself. Broccoli, rape and sausage could be a main course. You can cut up the sausages and the broccoli di rape, turn it into a sauce for pasta or just a great sandwich stuffer. Let's begin with roasting the sausages. You can saute the sausages in the pan or whatever, but I like putting it in the oven. So a little bit of oil. Let me just prick a little bit the sausages so they don't explode. And let's put them right in the oven. 375 degrees is fine, you know, but 15-20 uh, minutes turning them until they're nice and done. So we're ready to cook the broccoli di rape. But how do you clean the broccoli? I know a lot of you ask me that. So here is a nice bunch of broccoli. You usually buy it like this. And you wash it well, and then you take a paring knife and you just kind of cut, but leave just a little string on where you can pull the strings right off the base. And if a leaf comes off with that, then so be it. So I'm looking, let me cut just a little bit and peel it. Now, can you do like you peel the asparagus with a potato peeler? Yes, you could, but this is the way I do it. So here we are. A nice tall pan, and you need a lid because, again, you're gonna kind of smother it. So let's put some oil in here. Garlic, and again, I'm gonna just squash the garlic, break it up like that so it releases all its flavors, and then I can pluck it out or I can eat it. Okay. And just a little bit of water on the side in case there's not enough water here and you really need a little bit. While we're waiting for the garlic to get nice and golden, I love it when you guys come to my social media and you ask questions. That's good, we're in touch, I am here for you, and you let me know what you want to know, what you want to know from me. So here is Anna Gross from Concord, North Carolina. And Anna wants to know, Every time I try to cook broccoli rape, it's either undercooked and tough or mushy and unpleasant. What's the best way to cook it? So, Anna, follow me. Follow me and we'll get to the right point of doneness for broccoli di rape. What you want is that you don't want it certainly undercooked. That's when it's, the bitterness really comes out. Some people blanch it before and, uh, you know, again, I don't particularly like that because blanching it kind of Again, seals in that kind of uh, bitterness. I like this method the best. And not overcooking it is, of course, a secret. So as you see it changing a little bit color, you see, and I put it right in there. Just like that, Anna. Just like that. And salt. Peperoncino, nice and spicy, and some water, not too much, just enough water. There we go. And you seal it in there and let it cook away. And then we'll come back and turn it once or twice. And I'll show you the right doneness. The sausages are done. The broccoli di rape is done and it's just the the perfect kind of wilt. You see it has that green and this is at the point that I like it the best. Let's pile up the broccoli di rape just like that. That's good. You know I have a little plate here. A little plate for me. Uh, I need to taste this too. Okay. And the sausages, I mean, we can put them whole just like that. I think this looks like a great presentation, a great plate. And I'm going to cut a little piece of the sausage. Okay, that's how I would present it uh, to the table. You might want to cut it in pieces if this is not 
a main course, but otherwise a sausage, one whole sausage could be part of a main course with some broccoli di rape. And you see that kind of color of the broccoli di rape, kind of a little bit olive, but still a little bright. I need some wine, of course. So let me get some rifosco and let me taste for you. Mm, you see, it cuts easy with a little piece of sausage. Mm, delicioso. The saltiness of the sausages kind of offset the almond bitterness of the broccoli di rape, which I love. But together they make a great harmony. And so, salute and I don't want to leave you out of any of this. I want to invite you. Tutti a tavola a mangiare. To learn more about Lydia, access to videos, and to get recipes, tips, techniques, and much more, visit us online at lydiasitaly.com.